All right, we're back talking about We Own This City. This is episode four, and we're going to also talk about episode five, and then the next video after this, God willing, <laughs> it's going to be the finale episode six. We're going to talk about that, but for episode six, we may do a live type of review since it's like, I feel like it's going to be a lot that, that's going to happen in episode six. For you guys that's been sticking with me from episode one and the first review, I'm sorry for like going on a hiatus. Like um, personally, I was dealing with some stuff. So if you ever see me just go off the channel for a month or so, just know I'm personally dealing with some stuff. But I feel better now and I'm ready to get back into this. So as we see behind me, this episode, episode four, was like the episode that reality start to, to seek in. We see Wayne Jenkins' actions, his real actions have real consequences. And then he even drags Suter, Sean Suter into this. We don't really see it affect Suter until like episode, the episode after this, episode five. And that's when I start to worry. I don't want to get into like, you know, going word for word, what happened in the episode, because we all seen it. But what I do want to talk about is how I feel about it personally. So. I said before in the last review, I, I rewatched my review and, and I rewatched these two episodes a lot. And in the last review, I said something that I want to bring back to this review is, like I said in the end, there should be some type of like personality test in order to be a policeman. When it comes to the policeman that does it the right way, they're doing it the right way, meaning they're not doing it for the money, they're not doing it to like get rich, like they know what they signed up for. And I also talked about how like, having a gun and a badge was pretty much like a superpower. Now, we all been in situations where we can do stuff behind closed doors or we can do stuff in the dark that pretty much won't come to the light right away. So we have a choice in front of us. We can say, okay, we can, we can dive into the short-term benefits and get like quick results, or we can just have patience and just wait for the long-term benefits. In the case of the task force, they really did get guns off the street. So that's the sad part, especially with Jenkins. You, you see Jenkins, like, especially at the end of this episode, episode um, four, like he pretty much just riled up his team in a negative way. He said, we're going to get the guns. We're going to do our job. We're going to put in that good work. But in the end, we're all in it for the money. So even though they had a chance to do something great in their city and really own this city, they just focus on the short-term benefits and now they have long-term consequences. Me going through what I went through, it made me see this series differently. Like it made me kind of relate in a way to Jenkins. I know it sounds bad at first. Jenkins is, is a horrible person. He did horrible stuff but we all have, we're all at that crossroads where we have a choice. And that brings me to two people that in this series, besides Jenkins, especially these two episodes, that should be highlighted. One, you may not expect it, and that's uh, what they called him, K-Stop, K-Stop, the, the rookie cop that Wayne Jenkins took under his wing, because at one point, Wayne Jenkins took him to those crossroads as well. Wayne Jenkins gave him a choice to say, okay, we're in the dark. You can say whatever you want. No one, no one is going to know. It's between us. So what do you choose? He expected K-Stop to say, okay, like, yo, you know, we can take a little money here and there, blah, blah, blah. But K-Stop said, nah. He was the first person that we see put Wayne Jenkins in his place. Let him know that, you know, everybody isn't corrupted. Everybody isn't out for themselves. Everybody isn't out for those short-term benefits they're out for the long-term benefits now that's case stop now the other person and i'm staying on suitors because i feel like he's going to be the highlight of the series because he didn't really fight back like everybody else we saw in this story no one really fought back outside of case stop when it came to wayne jenkins they just kind of went along with it he even said at one point, Suter's even told somebody, like we saw in an in uh, investigation scene. Suter said, learn what I could from Jenkins and get out of the squad. If we can jump to the end of episode five. But before we do that, 
I do have to say I did look up this this particular scene with the with the stripper. It is true, but I don't know about the midget part or the or the drawer short, you know, small person part. Whatever the correct term is, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but I feel like they just threw that in because I did find out that the car part wasn't really in the real story. So what really happened, I think Jenkins was by himself and he had somebody like an actual st uh, stripper in his car. And I think he kicked him out the car or something like that and then drove off. But it, w it didn't happen like in the strip club like it shows. So of course, we know they got to change some stuff around for the show. And I think they added the midget just for like a, a comic relief. But... It did happen. He did steal money from a stripper. When it comes to suitors, like I said, I feel like he didn't fight back the way he should have. We see this a lot when they finally bring in the task force and they ask suitors, like guys, suitors, like, you know, you, you work with Rain, uh, Wayne Jenkins, how was he? And he couldn't even answer the question. He just went to the bathroom and just rethought everything that happened based on his own choices. I'm pretty sure if K stopped, chose to like go with Wayne Jenkins and do what suitors actually recommended people do was like, you know, just stay close to Jenkins and get what you can and then bounce. I feel like if K-Stop did that, that would have led to more events involving, involving Wayne Jenkins because he's not alone, he has a whole team. So if at least one person or a couple people in the team choose to do right, that's gonna ripple into the other people's decisions. But the mind state I feel like Suitors is in. Like when I first watched the episode, I didn't think much about it, but then after watching it back, watching these two episodes back repeatedly, it's, they made it seem like he's going through hell. It's scary because, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there. It seems like suicide may be in the picture or something like drastic like that. And that's why I say it's scary. So I haven't watched episode six of the finale yet. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I did like do some research at the beginning of this review and I did see that um, Sharon Suitors may have passed. And I'm not sure what caused the death, but I feel like the finale is gonna, gonna um, expose that. I only say that because I feel like since it's been a month, I feel like most of you guys already watched and finished the series. So if you're watching up to this point, I appreciate it because I feel like you're just sticking with me and uh, letting me get my thought, my, uh, my thoughts off, off to you. So this may be a short video. I don't know, depending on how I edit it. I feel like I didn't have much to say because, again, most of the two episodes was just the invest, uh, investigation part and the snitch marathon. And then we already talked about all that. So I just want to talk about what I felt was important in this series. So... Moving on from here, I'm going to drop some more stuff, some more videos, you know, some more light-hearted light stuff, and then we're going to get into the finale of this. And again, I want to do a live-type review. It's a reaction. It'll be more like a reaction, but I hate, I hate, you know, what comes with reactions. You know, people just think, oh, you just sit there, oh, laugh, smile here and there, and, and uh, comment, but I actually... Enjoy the story. I enjoy watching the story and learning about these people. So it's something I'm gonna take serious and something that I really wanna talk about. So I'm Jet, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Much love and peace to every one of y'all, man. All right, see you in the next one.